Do you know that env command is extremely useful? env on Mac Linux or set on Windows. Let me show you how to use that command. It is a command to list out all the environment variables. I hope you know what environment variables are because they show up everywhere and I'm, I'll explain it in, the, in a little bit and I'm going to create a video explaining it more with examples, all right? So open any terminal on Mac and just type env, just env lowercase and hit enter and you will see a list of variables. Let me show it to you on Windows and I'll explain those. So on Windows, I'm just remotely connected to the Windows behind me. Here, instead of env, you want to do set if you are in command prompt, right? Command prompt because there's different terminals on Windows. If you are on command prompt on CMD, you do set and hit enter. Again, you get a list of environment variables. So those are variables. A variable is basically a word that contains some information. The variable can be a random word, but the information is, is pointing to something. It's storing some kind of value. And these are system environment variables, meaning they're available throughout the system because there's different kinds of environment variables that you can set only for that session. So here, when I did set, I got a list and as you can see they are a word and some value basically a key and some value a key and some value and we go back on mac linux the command for mac and linux same thing you have the user admas this equals that this equals that so those are variables that are available in the environment and when you write code or you only run some existing code that code can read these environments and well, this environment variables and make decisions based on those values. They, so they are really, really useful. So when you do, I'm going to clear this. When you do env, it will list out all of them. If you want to just print specific ones, you're going to do echo. And in, in Mac, you're going to do dollar sign and the variable name. Dollar sign and say user, for example, and that's going to print the user. On Windows, again, the echo world, see a less to clear. Echo actually works on Windows, but the variable instead of dollar sign, it is percent and if i just do user like that i believe this variable exists maybe not if i do set let's just get any variable that exists let's just do temp i'm going to do echo and person sign temp person sign and that would actually print the value so that is how you access variables and if you want to set new variables you can do export i can say export name is foobar now if i do env name that foobar is set on Windows, you're going to do set. You know how we do set, just print everything. Again, you're going to do set name equals admas. And if I do set now again, that variable is somewhere here stored. I think this on Windows, it is alphabetical. On Mac, it's not alphabetical. So that's how you use the word env and the word set or the command instead of the word, right? So that's just a little tip that is really useful when you're working on the command line.